Oil rigs are transported by a semi-submersible vessel, which is a special type of ship designed to lift and carry giant structures. It can submerge itself, allowing the cargo to float above its deck. And then rise back up, lifting the structure clear of the water for transport. In this example, our ship is tasked with transporting two offshore oil rigs from different locations, one after another, over a long distance. Let's explore how this incredible vessel works and how both the ship and the oil rigs cooperate to complete this mission. The ship's superstructure is located at the bow, while the entire midsection forms a vast open deck for carrying cargo with an area of more than 93,600 square feet in this model. However, deck sizes vary depending on the ship's design. At the stern, you can see two buoyancy towers that help maintain stability when the ship is partially submerged. Inside the hull, the space is divided into multiple ballast tanks. When sea water is pumped into these tanks, the ship becomes heavier and slowly submerges below the waterline. The ballasting process can take many hours, often carry out overnight, so that by early morning, the float-on operation can begin in daylight when visibility is best. Ballasting is done step by step, constantly monitored to keep the ship perfectly balanced, avoiding trim and list, and the risk of being capsized. At each stage, Stability is checked and adjustments are made carefully to prevent uneven weight distribution. The goal is to sink the ship under the waterline, not to the bottom of the ocean. This ship is powered by four four-stroke marine diesel engines. Because much of the hull is occupied by ballast tanks, the engines cannot connect directly to the propellers. Instead, they operate as generator sets, producing electricity to power electric motors that drives each propeller. This ship has side thrusters at the bow and stern that help it move sideways for precise positioning. The cargo deck is made from thin, high-strength steel plates supported underneath by a lattice framework of beams. This creates a very stiff and lightweight structures capable of supporting massive loads. Before loading, wooden crypts are placed on the deck to prevent direct metal-to-metal -metal contact from the giant cargo to the deck plates. At the same time, they distribute the weight of the cargo evenly across the ship's structure. An offshore oil drilling rig is typically semi-submerged in operation for stability. It achieves this by flooding its pontoons with seawater. To prepare for transport, the rig must float higher by pumping water out of its pontoon tanks. Each pontoon is divided into multiple ballast tanks, allowing careful control of buoyancy and balance. This procedure must be monitored very closely to prevent the rig from capsizing. With both the vessel and the oil rig ready, tugboats tow the rig into position above the submerged deck. They manage not only towing but also mooring lines to keep the rig perfectly aligned. Even a small misalignment can cause serious stress once lifting begins. Another reason why this work is done during daylight hours. Once the rig is in place, the ship begins de-ballasting. 
pumping seawater out of its ballast tanks to rise. This process must be recalculated carefully as the ship now carries the enormous weight of the oil rig on its deck. As the vessel rises above the waterline, the rig settles securely onto the wooden crypts ready for fastening and safe transport. After the first rig is loaded, the ship sails to the next location and repeats the same procedure. Ballasting to submerged, then de-ballasting to lift the second rig. Some oil rigs are equipped with their own propellers beneath the pontoons. These self-propelled rigs cannot be transported by a semi-submersible vessel and instead they must be towed over long distances. Upon reaching the destination, the vessel once again ballast, taking in seawater to submerge the deck. As it sinks below the waterline, the oil rigs begin to float freely. Tugboats then guide each rig away safely, completing the operation. Thank you for watching. If you know anything more about this topic, please leave a comment below. My name is Lucis, and I'll see you in the next video.